Problem number six. All right, more reading. Let's do it. A company that makes wildlife video makes that doesn't help. <laughs> purchases camera equipment for thirty-two thousand four hundred dollars. The equipment depreciates in value at a constant rate for twelve years, after which it is considered to have no monetary value. So it goes from that value to zero over twelve years. I'm assuming constant rate means that it's a constant amount of money per year. Not very clearly worded, but we'll have to roll with it. How much is the camera equipment worth four years after it is purchased? Okay, this is a question of, of proportions, and maybe you can call it linear modeling. It's a linear model. And so your temptation might be to take that original amount, divide it by 12 to see how much is lost every year, and then multiply that result by four. But there is a more efficient way of doing it. It's one of those situations where you should reject your first idea because dividing by 12 is no fun for this large number and this is a no calculator section. Here you should realize that after four years, when the product depreciates over 12 years, a third of the time has passed because four is a third of 12. So you have to calculate a third of that amount and that's the amount of money that's lost. So two thirds or twice that amount is what's left. So all we have to do is multiply 32,400, not multiply, divide by three, that's the amount of money lost, and then two thirds is what remains, so then multiply the result by two. Okay, how are we going to divide it by three? Well, I'll focus on that number, 324, and I'll divide that by three. 300 divided by three is 100, and 24 divided by three is eight. So it's 108. Tacking on the remaining zeros, we get 10,800. So now we have to double it, and we will have 21,600. The answer is C. So lots of words. All you have to do is extract this one simple observation.